it got pretty weird when there was an unethical experiment going on. Mount Desert Island um, was a weird unethical experiment. I felt all I needed to do was prove it was a weird unethical experiment. And police and friends and peers and neighbors would all come running to demand that it be investigated and put a stop to perpetrators arrested if it was as bad as I suspected. But that's not what happened. What happened was that the pornographers behind it said, it's a cat calling, he wants some. I don't get how that would interfere with the nature of the investigation. But they said, what we'll do is we'll upload a hottie, a desirable girl. What I pointed out was that any situation like that is a Heisenberg on any principle, that the fact of being observed changes the behavior of the person. They were observing or conducting observationings and denying it, which meant police state activity that was criminal. So they were saying, well, it's not criminal if you want, if you want uh, a girlfriend. Police state is ethical if you want a girlfriend. And I said that's not really the case, but they come up with the Heisenberg 10. She was a... a uh, real haughty. And sure me the Peter Gabriel is on the level. And they continue with their observationings to trigger this. And they were saying, uh, you know, there was an unethical dag of the Putin in the queer balls REM register. And you don't believe the wadmaker's special ways that leads to violence will show you a girl who self-destructs. What do you say now, queer ball? So the Heisenberg 10 Hardy comes along. And they start putting these books in around me while they lead up to the TikTok presentation of the girl being sentenced. Loves hypnotist books. And they bring a girl in named Mac to the clubhouse, right? This sort of thing. And it turns out that, you know, I, I report the problem to the legal services. And a woman named Durgan comes and arrests me for defiant trespass because they say I put it in. This is the psychosis of the observationists who say that anyone with a girlfriend automatically has to be observation by the police state. And there's all kinds of reasons, but the big reason is that Pope Carl says that abortion is conjuring climate change, not fossil fuel. Abortion. And Pope Carl's been around for a long time observationing with peep, genocide peep. And I told these fools that they should get life and they should investigate. And they said, no, we'll, instead what we'll do is poison you in the mouth for the spiritual cleansing we're building momentum for in the queer establishment. And they kick out the grannies with COVID. You know. And they're going like this here and out there. Oh, warriors, warriors, we'll get you. We'll get you with something bad. Yeah, and they put up an asbestos scare, all kinds of creepy stuff. You have no idea how creepy they are. They're creepy. Seattle is just creepy. Yeah, and who comes to bad for them are people like Stephen King. Stephen King put up some book about him, the core that comes to King, and he schmoozes with Romero. And then the Donald, who battered me and my sister as a child, was into Stephen King. So Stephen King and George Takai beamed down with the elixirs of death. 
shoes are poison this guy has outside in the across the hallway. He's got some on his door, shoes are poison. That expresses what they're up to. And they codify it all under corrections, penal harm, they call it. It's like a, you know how the, uh, there was a voter registration drive. Well, the penal harm people, you see all over North say there, the bombing Nicaraguan harbors was like Martin Luther King. It wasn't Jim Clark beating Martin Luther King on the head. It was, it was, it was civil disobedience. Well, the law was against Jim Clark. That's why he was beating Martin Luther King on the head, because he didn't want to obey the law. So you get this um, penal harm movement. It's like Martin Luther King, right? They poison you because it's civil disobedience. And the wizards of Spinner Bean, he put on their watch, I'll show you. Oh, my Spinner Bean, doesn't work today. That's supposed to spin. So I'm, I don't have a spinner beanie. I'm a lesser, you know, uh, ombre. I cannot see the higher connectivity that Jim Clark is honorary than Martin Luther King because he's engaged in civil disobedience. For them, it goes, do, do, do. For me, it goes, because I'm dysfunctional. I'm a subhuman. They tell me things like, oh, you're deaf, you're lucky you have that. Because their penal harm movement has, uh, has ick ick up its sleeve. I don't tell you what ick ick is. No. Ick ick is something special. You think about meditating on your Adversham. And don't you have no girlfriends because peep. Uh, you, uh, you police state observations. Heisenberg 10, you say, uh, being observed changes your behavior, huh? Well, we have news for you, but televised adult cinema is the raging tiger of abortion. So you watch out with the green and orange, because the go mariners go, will let one go from the zoo at you. It's true. Television is the raging tiger of abortion. Just ask Bob Carl if you don't believe me. He knows. Jim Clark is honorary to Martin Luther King, because he's civil disobedience. Penal, penal harm poisons you in the mouth because of honorary the Martin Luther King. You, you don't blame me. You ask, go ask Aaron Gandhi. You, you just go ask Aaron Gandhi if you don't blame me. 